color so he can use a blue constraint. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like if we if we get rid of this use of use like having these add to your swim lanes like temporary, then then you could just utilize it. We have multiple buildings going on at the same time. So yeah. just having swim lanes identifying which building so the workaround yeah. is we've made it we, we've tried to make this as simple as possible but we yeah it, it's fantastic <laughs> it's so easy to yeah. use so and that's what we want something quick something that subcontractors can use it and they don't have to keep following calling like a controls person or you know someone who's an expert saying why don't you come and help us out <laughs> Learning right. it has been great for us too because it, it's been multitudes easier than some of it, some other things we work with. But it's it's good. Yeah. Cool. Well, this feedback is great, and it seems like you're you're making a lot of progress with this. So. Yeah. Combine the two and then export if we like to. Is that it? No. I think that 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 might be a little tough. So I'm. How are you thinking about this? Like, is it like different, um, different dates? Like, is it like earlier in the year or, or you, like how? Uh, no, so just for example, if this is Body Shop and GA combined, yeah. let's say I, I, I already did all this work for GA and now someone somewhere says, I want it in two different workspaces. Can I just ex take one part of it and export it into another workspace and like vice versa? Yeah, so, so the, the best way to do it now um, would be you, you'd grab the selector tool and just copy and then just copy and paste it okay yep. so if you if you select all that stuff right now like if you select one row yeah you copy and then create a new workspace Ryan does copy. it also copy relationships and the start to starts and all the leaders get a new workspace and put a new date in and okay. then Copy this. Um, I know Nikita, you don't have another workspace, but well, actually, if you go to that, if you go to that email I sent, um, well, if we copy, try. hold on, I just want to see something. I think, I don't think the logic copies. So I think it only copies if you if you copy the thing that's that's attached to it. Oh no, no, it does. It, did oh, it does copy. It does copy. Okay, yep. it, it does copies. copy. Okay. Hey, hey guys, this is Zach here. What, one other thing to keep in mind is, um, not right this second, but we're going to have the ability to just fully duplicate a workspace um, probably within, I'd say, a month. So oh, nice. once that happens, then it, the, that would be the, easier. The so can we extend this if we have like a bigger schedule? We we can't. So just to you know help help with like efficiency right now, we we don't want to slow down the workspace. So this was the max. Um, mm -hmm. that we wanted to, to make it right now. Mm -hmm. um, and then once they help, like they fix the performance and, and upgrade everything, I think that we're going to be able to extend it and, and make it as large as you need it. So this is where it's set for, for right now to help with performance. Yeah. And then the next sprint is, uh, is going to be a performance sprint. So it's all just focused on optimizing performance. And then after that, we're going to implement something to extend the timeline or be able to start with a longer timeline. You'll have to start with this, but before the project's over, you'll have the ability to have longer timelines. So it goes out to August 23rd right now. Yep, so that's um, the, the furthest it's going to go right now. If you oh. change that milestone, it's going to mess everything up that, that you had. Because we want to make a schedule out to eight weeks, which goes out to September. Oh, okay. Um, you should definitely be able to do eight weeks. Yeah, you should be able to do eight weeks. It was just the milestone that we set, I think. Yeah, if you set the milestone, and I'm I'm just driving at the moment, but Ryan, right? If you set the milestone, how many we how many columns is it in total? I think it's like like thirty six or forty weeks for. A, and it just depends on where you set that milestone, how far back the you know today's date is. It goes back to oh okay. This is going all the way back to Jan 27th, which is week five. So, so if we, yeah, if we go further out instead of using January. Yeah, because see that blue, that blue mark shows where we are today. Where we are, to, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, if it, you if you switch up the milestone right now, then I just worry that it's it's going to shift all your work, obviously. 
Um, you just want to make sure it falls on that Sunday or whatever. So I, I think if you move it up a, a Sunday, it, will, it should keep the logic. I don't know uh, how do how do I move the milestone? Yep. So um, scroll over. Scroll. Go to your right. See that yellow mark? That one. So that that's your milestone. So zoom in uh, on that. So now you can click that calendar, and this is where you'll be able to set it. So I set. I think we just agreed that we were going to set it for eight nine twenty twenty, but um, you can you can push it out whatever you need to. Um, so if I if I push this out, you are okay. Let's cancel it. And not push it out. Um, you're saying that so it's, it's these gonna might shift. move. Yeah, it's it's going to shift everything. Um, yeah. But then it, this work is committed or completed. Right. It it wouldn't stay there. Yeah, it's not. It, so so once you once you put the milestone in it it ends up shifting the work if you if you change it um so we're saying if if we have to change the milestone then that's where you push out the you could put like a, a like drop in a yellow um milestone and say all right this is where we're actually trending so if we did this as a question just for inquiry let's say we can copy this entire workspace yeah. right now compared to many one yeah and create a new one yeah like you can that, and then change the mouse though in that one yeah theoretically then it should work yeah yeah it should yep okay i mean if you if you want to try to move the mouse oh no that's gonna you can move the milestone right now and then shift everything but yeah i don't want to mess you up there can we undo it <laughs> <laughs> There is an undo button, so it, it, it will go back to what, what, what it was. was. Um, the other thing we could do, yeah, we could, we could just start copying, or I can help start copying this over. Okay. What milestone date would you like to put in? Let's, let's, let's do it like October 31st, like to that far. Well, you know what? Because we're going to start building onto that schedule, right? How how far out can we go with our milestone? Um, it's you should at least be able to get to October. Um, I think it's about okay. nine months right now. Okay, no, because I'm just thinking. Eventually, we're going to keep adding. So we're going to show the four-week look ahead, and then next we're going to show another four-week. Eventually, we're going to reach the October date, but we'll have to keep moving ahead, right? Right, right. So. And you're only going to have two it, weeks, right? Yeah. It, Ryan, it, it's almost like by default, it should be the, the, the anchor date should, should be the max, right? It should be the, the nine months, and then you just have to scroll all the way to the left to start the plan and you just drop a you know a, a milestone into where whatever you know you you want it to be but as opposed to trying to continuously you know adjust that anchor date where it could mess up the whole plan right doesn't that right. make sense it's almost like you shouldn't even have to set that <clears throat> yeah i'm trying to think of how we should set that up um do we have to set a milestone date no you could you could just jump right in there and, and and start working. It's not going to show like to the dates, though. That's the problem. So, oh, yeah. You want associated. Then you then you need to show the milestone. It's okay. Um, if I so, I mean, would it benefit if you had more time after the milestone? So, so instead of just two weeks, you need way more time than that, right? Yeah, because we're just going to keep building on to that schedule. Right. So it's there's so that's that's another issue, right? So if we just have this workspace, let's zoom out. Well, that's the max. If we just have this much room, we're gonna eventually have to copy and paste it into a new workspace, like like the last bit of it to just continue working, correct? Yeah. 
Um, but for for now, you think like October thirty first could work just just um, if we start copying Tem this over. Yeah, for temporary October thirty first should be fine, and then. Okay, Ryan, I would I would just whatever if you're setting the anchor date, I would just set it to nine months from now. Don't even worry about October thirty first, and then just throw a milestone on October thirty first. So that way, if they if they exceed it, whatever the difference is, they'll have that time. Right. Agreed. Yeah. And I'll, I'll talk to I'm going to I'm going to try to get Yakup on the line because I feel like this is an easy one. So Well, I recorded sorry. this, so he we can definitely It's September 2021. And then open up a whole new plan and start a, another phase. So our I to have five different work plans, one for body, one for GA, one for the new buildings that we're making, the two actually there are four new buildings, but we don't we just have information for two new buildings. Each of them will have a different workspace. You know, issues with performance at all? Has it felt slow or has it felt fairly reasonable? Performance wise it's uh, it's good. It, it it isn't it hasn't stopped on us or shut down on us or anything, so Okay. Has it like lagged to the point where you're like this this is uncomfortable? No, not at all. Okay. All right. Good. All right, great. So are you working in this plan right now? Like for, um like right after this? Because I, uh, I can take the time and just copy it over for you. I'm just trying to get the correct. No, we have a meeting with the owners in about an hour, and I need to print some reports for them. So I'll be working on that. Okay. Um, and then we have that meeting. So I don't think I'll come back. Um, I'm working on Hailu for 12 o'clock. Okay. So what I can do is... I, I will um, be in here and I'll just copy everything over um, and then I'll share the workspace with you. Um, I can just send it via email and it's going to be, I'm just going to make it exactly the same how you have it set up. Does that work? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I'm trying to make this right here. <laughs> I apologize that... Uh, no, 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 not at all. I think you probably can do it faster than how I can. Like, we were going to be stuck with, like, okay, how does this happen? <laughs> probably right. can just, you know, probably know it by in the back of your head. Yeah, I think I think I can get it quick. And I know in the other workspace, you could just flatten it and it wouldn't move. So if you zoom in and then go to the, the subcontext menu, we call it the hamburger menu. Uh, oh, yeah. Like that, and then the three little dots to the left. Uh -huh. lock to oh, add to background. Okay, and then unlock it. Yep. So, so now it's it's kind of just you can't even find yeah. it. So now you have to go to your selector, the the lasso, um, circle around it. The harpoon, the other one. It's like the harpoon um, on the bottom. Yep. Oh, now, that one. Uh, click that. Just click the middle of it. Yep. Oh, there. unlock. Oh, that's easy. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had you using the wrong one. <laughs> no, that's fine. But yeah, that that locks it up to the background. So if you need it in a like certain spot in the plan, you can yeah. Uh, and then it, it is just like a copy paste from another PDF, or how do we just how do we bring it in? Yeah. So so all I did to get that, um, John and I were sitting there just talking through this, and I just like a, took a, a screenshot. Yeah. So, uh, I just like a snippet or something. Yeah. So, do you have do you have a Mac or, or Windows? Windows. Yep. So Windows Shift. Oh, S. It works. Yep. Perfect. It works. Or, or Windows Shift S, if you want to try that. That's it's just the the workaround, just like a little quicker. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you can just grab a snippet there, and then Control V. Yeah. Paste. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, um, I guess uh, my final question will just be um, just about this this toolbox here. So, as I mentioned, we we're we we're talking through you know adding the pen tool, adding a sticky note, um, maybe adding the constraint. Yeah, adding this constraints. Is there anything else you can think of that 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 would work for you? Um, the the date to right. go on. Yeah. 
I no, think no, I think I ran over. Yeah. I'm oh, to that. add adding in this. Okay. Yeah, adding in that. that um. I think it's pretty like I'll just keep it simple, and that's the best way to go. Yeah. yeah. We were. Do you, uh, what I, about like uh, colors? Because we're just that? minimum. What about colors? We're like minimum to only. Yeah, those are the only things. options right now. Okay. Uh, so we have more than these some like the colors are way too less for our subcontractors on site. <laughs> so I think yeah. that's that's coming in the tool just in like regardless. So okay. Okay. Uh, but you can double up on colors. I know that, that that would be annoying, but that that's something you can do right now. Um, yeah. More more colors. So maybe having like a you know, like a color wheel you can click and click in, yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever shade, like a, a lighter shade and a darker shade would be two different colors, kind of shade of red or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing, so we're talking about adding sticky notes into this and just being able to take like a sticky note, like in a normal workspace and just drag it in, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be like, I just don't want to confuse people. Do you think that would confuse people if they're able to do that? Uh, so what exactly would be the purpose for doing a sticky note? Because this is what, this is what sticky notes are, right? This right. is what it is. So, so, so what if, would you've be the... a, if you've seen a blank workspace, the sticky note would just be something that you'd use up top and have like your like notes. Um, so it would be, let me show you. Oh, this would be interesting. Okay, once you're done, I guess I can ask you this question. No, 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 you can go ahead. What's that? So, so just how I removed the sticky note from my inbox, can I, if I, if I got the wrong one, can I put it back in? So if you delete it, it's going to go back in. Oh. Let me do that. So what I was talking about it's just being able to like throw one of these sticky notes in and just be able to click it and add like whatever notes you need. We're, we're trying to figure out if that would be helpful in having that in this toolbox. So like just putting like these different sticky notes and you say, all right, I want to duplicate this and just saying like, these are my notes. If it's not help, if you don't think it would be helpful, then, then I can let them know, but. It's helpful because yeah. all, all we want them to do is, is this date, correct no okay we'll move it out if it's not if it's correct then we'll just commit it kind of thing we, we don't want them to like have the ability to this, do much this might confuse them right like being able to just drag these yeah yeah because they're they're just going to do this as like a sticky note and put that in as a ticket right instead of um the yeah. inbox I was, I was worried about that 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 was the one thing that we were talking about yesterday and i, I didn't <laughs> Just thinking about that, but one thing we do want to add is is just text. So so you click the ABC. Yeah. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So so that that would be helpful. And For then sure. one of these pen tools. This is where you know if we have the highlighter, you know we can highlight across the plan and color yeah. in our swim lanes, right? Yes. I think that would be very beneficial. Maybe get, have like a highlighter, and then we could select from one one end to the other wherever we want to highlight instead yep. of coloring one box yep so if you go like this if you so it should snap to grid of course it did not <laughs> so if, if you um draw on the box you see it snaps the grid like that and you'd just be able to drag it across your plan okay so it might that might be something that could work okay. just as like a workaround if it's I, I'll, I'll talk to the developer. This is all great feedback. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Or like if you snap from one corner to the next uh, diagonal corner and it just highlights that whole box. Oh, I see what you mean. Yep. It doesn't, it doesn't snap for me. So if you went to like, like the, that, where, can... where three... Yeah, let's if if you just go to number three corner on top top right and then number four bottom sorry, number three top oh. left and bottom uh right of number four. So those two cells will be pink 
or whatever color that is. Yeah. Oh, so like something like this? Because we wouldn't be able to fill it in. At the yeah, moment. no, no, that, yeah, that, that's what I was talking about, filling it in instead of having yeah, straight think, lines. Straight lines would work right now. So if I copy this into you, let me see if it works. Like that. Well, it's a workaround, so we can have like a brighter color and have a li line saying this is where Body Shop ends, this is where GA starts. Right. Yeah, it, it can, it can, it, it, th that would be beneficial for us right now too. Because right now we don't have a separator. All we have right. is it, the, the dummy ticket, which right. doesn't tell us much. Um, and then that um, text box field that would be helpful. And can we, can we like rotate the text box field? to like 90 um, degrees, 180. I'm just gonna delete this for the moment. Um, what do you mean for the, the text box field? So like like one of these, but one of these? No, 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 these are the, the tickets. So if you go back to your previous one that you showed us. With this? Yeah, so there's a text box over here that you showed us, right? Where we can type the ABC. Oh, yep, yep, ABC, yep. Yeah, and then type something and then can you rotate it? Yep, so what you'd be able to do is grab the selector and go like this. Oops. Okay, so. yep. Uh, yep.